we take a look at some of the most unique drones which have been made so far. At number 7, the Sprite Drone. The best thing about this two-rotor machine is that it's compact and it has a two-axis gimbal for a GoPro camera. The blades fill up and there's no real assembly, and plus it's waterproof. However, it does have a relatively short flight time at 10 minutes, so you're likely not going to fly it in long range distances. It also supports GPS in your typical waypoint flight modes. But I did notice some video instability in their demo video, so it's definitely not perfect. But overall, it's easy to transport and it's relatively easy to fly. I also like the conventional and reliable RC signal receiver, and the 5.8 GHz FPV option. There have been a few automated tracking drones which have been released this year. These include the Lily, the Air Dog, and possibly even the Plexi drone which has a backpack and an obstacle avoidance future. But my personal favorite for this year is the Hexel Plus because it has a 3-axis gimbal which has relatively good footage with a GoPro or similar type of camera. And plus it's RC compatible so it's fairly reliable in a standard setup. The Hexocopter has a 15 minute flight time and it can go up to an impressive 45 miles per hour. And the follow mode works by tracking your smartphone and it works up to 300 feet. But I also want to bring up the point of just remaining skeptical when ordering products on Kickstarter campaigns. Or pre-ordering products which have no set release date. We've seen it in the past with the Xano drone and people have bought the product but they've never received it and there are broken promises. At number 5, the X-Craft Phone Drone. You're either going to hate or love this drone, but you have to admit this product is fairly innovative. This flying contraption was even featured on Shark Tank, and the craft utilized your smartphone sensors, cameras, and computing power to turn it into a flying machine. You can either fly it autonomously by itself or pair it with another phone for tracking and flying it manually. And there's a built-in camera mirror which shoots straight down forward or even onto the side. And supposedly it works even with Apple Watch, which is quite impressive. So once again, the range is going to be very limited with manual control, and it's not really meant for aerial footage. Now, I'm not going to use my brand new phone for this drone to take off with, but it's fun to play with if you have an older iOS or Android phone, and you can put it to great use. At number 4, the Fly. One of the most unique drones with only a single propeller. It's about the same size of a football, and its blades are enclosed. So it's quite a bit safer than your average open multi-rotor, and it's probably going to be great for flying indoors. It can be programmed to perform several automatic flights, and it even has a 1080p video camera. I would like to see a longer flight time since it can only fly for 10 minutes, and the camera stability is just not going to be as good as some higher end drones with 3 axis gimbals. I also would like to see something more than just the Wi Fi connectivity, but kudos to the creators for making a really unique and safe drone, and hopefully, we can see a newer and improved version in the future. At number 3, the Bionic Bird. One of my favorite drones is this automated bird, and it only costs $150, so it's really affordable. It has a range of over 300 feet, and it's controlled via Bluetooth by your smartphone or tablet. It has a quick charging time of around 15 minutes, and it usually flies for about 10 minutes. It's fairly robust, and it can take quite a few crashes, but it's also affected and pushed by wind, so you have to be careful of that too. And there is going to be an RC version which is going to be released this year. So the range is going to be dramatically increased. And now I'll just have to figure out how to put in a micro FPV system on this thing. That would be cool. At number 2, the Loon Copter. A team of engineers from Oakland University has just unveiled a drone which is capable of both aerial flight and subaquatic navigation. So it's pretty much a flying submarine. The drone works in water by using a ballast chamber and flipping itself onto its side. RC signals and Wi-Fi degrade really quickly in water, and it's going to be a big challenge, but the team is looking at acoustic modems or even using some sort of tether. So right away, potential applications could include underwater search, environmental monitoring, and above and underwater structure inspection. Another drone which can swim underwater is the Navigator drone, and it's built by Rutgers University. So before we get to number one, there are a couple of drones which I recommend for aerial footage. These include the Unic Q500 and the DJI Phantom 3. And both of these have over 20 minutes of flight time and they range from $700 to $1300 for the 4K resolution. Both of these drones have a 3-axis gimbal which provide them with excellent video footage. But if you're like me and you like actually building your own quadcopters, then check out some of my tutorial videos. At number one, the MIT Autonomous Drone. One brilliant PhD student developed a drone which can avoid obstacles in real time at over 30 miles per hour. It works by using a stereo vision algorithm which operates at 120 frames per second. The software only works at a 10 meter depth and the drone can quickly recover by reading other sensors and previous covered distances. 
The drone itself has two processors and two cameras for real-time computation. And the best thing about this software is that it's open sourced and available to anyone online, so you can even build your own autonomous drone. The student hopes to further improve the drone so that it can actually fly in dense forests to certain waypoints. So just imagine any kind of quadcopter or plane tracking you through any type of environment in your next outdoor adventure. And perhaps after a few years, you can really have your own autonomous flying insect. So once again, thanks for watching, like the video, and please subscribe to my channel.